was the first time Anne-Marie Drago had been seen or heard of in relation to the death she's accused of having caused two months ago. Here on Ray Court, Evelyn Rodriguez was killed last September 14th when Drago drove her SUV over Rodriguez. It was the second anniversary of the deaths of Rodriguez's daughter, Kayla Cuevas, and her best friend, Nisa Mickens, whose bodies had been left here, allegedly by MS-13 gang members. A large makeshift memorial had been set up that Drago took down for fear it would prevent the sale of her mother's home here, according to prosecutors. When Rodriguez confronted Drago, the 48-year-old nurse ran over Rodriguez, killing her. Drago has said it was an accident. Henry, anything to say? No comment from Drago, who was charged with criminally negligent homicide, criminal mischief, and petty larceny. No bail was requested. Her sincere condolences to the family of Evelyn Rodriguez. I hope she, she did. You don't mean that she was sorry, but a sorry doesn't bring my mother back. Rodriguez's daughter and her daughter's father spoke after seeing Drago for the first time. And all the professionals behind this case took their, their diligence to make sure that everything was solid. But many friends and supporters of the nationally known anti-gang violence advocate were less accepting. Why is she able to walk? She's just walking amongst us. If any of those circumstances change, you know I will be here with my people seeking a bail modification. Now, Drago faces up to four years in prison if she's found guilty. Meanwhile, Rodriguez's supporters say that's not a serious enough penalty. They will be out here in about an hour or so holding a vigil regarding this whole situation. That is the latest from here in Brentwood on Long Island. I'm James Ford, PIX11 News.